welcome to Recipes Tested. I'm Brianna Robinson and today I'm going to be testing out a recipe from this Magnolia Table cookbook. I am going to be testing her strawberry shortcake, which is a dessert that I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I've never tried and I don't know. I'm almost 30. I've never had strawberry shortcake. So I thought, what the heck? Why not just give it a shot? This recipe can be found again from this cookbook on page 285. So if you want to see how this recipe turns out, just keep watching and I'll get testing. So the first thing I got going on was the strawberries. So I just did about a half of a pound of strawberries that I hold and then I cut the them into quarters or I don't know. I just cut them all equal sizes depending on the size of the strawberry. And once that was all done, I put them in a bowl. And this is the step you kind of need to do ahead of time. Well, you should do ahead of time. You gotta put your sugar in with the strawberries and mix them all around and let it sit for a couple of hours, two to three hours, and let the sugar really kind of liquefy and sweeten up those strawberries. And look at all that liquid there. Mm, that's so good. So the last thing I did was get the um, heavy whipping cream out to make my whipped cream. So I added in heavy whipping cream, sugar, and vanilla extract and mix that all together with a handheld whisk per the instructions. Next time I would just use my KitchenAid because this took a long time and my arm got tired. So next I got my Joanna Gaines biscuit recipe from the same book and I cut those in half. And basically all I did was just assemble these. So first I put down the whipped cream, which you can leave unsweetened too, and then the strawberry mixture. Some more whipping cream, and then I just put the lid on. And that was it. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. It just looks so picture perfect to me and I love that I have this bowl that can catch the sauce and kind of soak it up in the bottom but I'm gonna quit blabbering and just give it a taste and let you know if it's love at first bite. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Wow. This is in incredible. I don't know what my expectations were for this recipe. I guess I just assumed because the biscuits are very, I usually only have them with savory things that they would be a very salty component to this, but this is phenomenal. I mean, I'm sure most of you guys have had this, but I haven't. And I think that the biscuit recipe makes a big difference because otherwise it's just strawberries and cream, which you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But the biscuits are like, hands down, the best biscuits. The only biscuit recipe that I will ever make. Totally go get that book. So that way you can make this and spoon bread and all the other recipes that I've tested so far. All right, so that's it guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here and finish my dessert. So thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. And leave a comment down below while you're here with any other recipes that you want tested. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mmm.